Hello my viewers. Well as promised I'm going to illustrate how to attach a set of gauges to an air conditioning system and how to take them off when you're finished. There really is a proper way of doing that. Now first of all what you want to do is you want to inspect your gauges to make sure that uh, there aren't any big problems with them. Um, and you want to be sure that the, your uh, valves on the manifold is in a closed position. Now, first of all, let's see. Now, the high pressure hose, this, this meaning my uh, high side hose, the red hose, ha already has a low loss fitting on it. Uh, now, my low side hose does not. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take care of that problem right now. And I'm using to do that is this fitting here that uh, is actually a, a yellow jacket refrigeration product. Uh, I'm going to take it out of the bag here. Um, just kind of wrestle with it a little bit. Get it out of there. And there we go. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, put this low loss fitting right on the hose itself okay and of course what you want to do is you want to make sure it's on there pretty tight okay whatever you do don't make a mistake to remove it uh, in, a, in a bad time like when it's on a machine so right now I'll set this right here okay Okay, and there we go. Now I have the low loss fitting attached to what used to not have a low loss fitting on this little side hose. Also, make sure that the other side of the hoses are tight. Okay, you don't have to take a wrench to them or a pair of pliers or nothing. Just kind of hand tight. Make sure that uh, you're not going to get any refrigerant leaking out of there uh, when you put your gauges on there. Okay. So now, let's go ahead and put this on a machine. Okay, first things first, let's go ahead and make sure that the compound gauge, which is the low side gauge and also the high side gauge, are fairly uh, zeroed out, which is not looking bad. Then, we'll go ahead and take the low side hose off of there. And then we'll take the cap off of the suction side and then we'll put this uh, low side hose here on the suction side access port. Um, should be going on there here. Alright. And you should get a reading of some sort here on the manifold gauge. Now we'll remove the cap off of the high side access port. Oh, that one's a tough one. Ooh, that was tough. But I was got it off there by hand, rawr. Okay. Next, we get our uh, red hose here, which is it's going to the high side. Then we'll put the hose on the uh, high side access port. All right, Just like that. And take notice that uh, refrigerant didn't come flying out of there when I put it on there and that's because of the low loss fitting. Alright, now let's take a look at our pressures here. Right there at about, oh, there's about 205 psi G on the high side and the low side is about, uh, about 70 psi G. Alright, now uh, 
what you want to do though is you're going to want to bleed your hoses a little bit and to do that uh oh the machine just cut off on me well that's not good <laughs> okay oh well all right <clears throat> uh now to do to bleed the hoses all you need to do is just open just a little bit just enough to let the air out of the hose and then the high side too here you go just enough to get the air out of the hose and then what I have to do is I have to go turn the air conditioner back on because it shut off on me it's always best if the machine is running when you remove your gauges from the air conditioning system that way uh, there's a way you can remove any of the liquid refrigerant okay that's in your high pressure hose uh, and uh, actually release it into your low side that way you lose a minimum amount of refrigerant uh, that uh, is usually lost every single time you put your hoses on a system. So now we just got to wait for the system to come back on. So, all right, machine just now came back on, and as you see, the system is restabilizing. Once it stabilizes or so, we'll uh, go ahead and. Uh, remove the gauges getting there okay first thing you want to do is you want to remove your high pressure hose and you can only do this by the way if your high pressure hose has a low loss fitting. If it does not have a low loss fitting, do not try this at home. So we'll remove our hose right there, see? A very minuscule amount of refrigerant was lost by removing that. But now our, as you can see, we still have a quite a bit of pressure inside of this hose, okay? Now what we can do we can put, we can put, move this refrigerant that's inside of this hose in our red hose over to our low side easily. But for now, we'll just screw this fitting on uh, back on our gauges here, just to keep it from dropping into mud or something. Okay, before we do this, let's make sure that this hose, our yellow hose, is tight right here as well. And now we'll open the gauge. Well, now we'll open the manifold on the high side. Okay, and the pressure will then transfer over to the low side when we open up this side. See? So now our, um, all the liquid that was in the red hose is now been shifted over to the. Um, suction side. Now we can close off our manifold valve here on the high side and close off the uh, valve on the low side and then we can remove safely uh, our uh, low side hose from the machine and make sure you don't remove it where this hose is connected to this low loss fitting because otherwise you'll have a mess on your hands. It'll just, the refrigerant will come flying out and you won't be happy. So we'll remove it right here from the low loss fitting. And there we have it. And always remember to store your hoses in a way that you don't allow trash to get inside of your fittings. Best if you keep them 
uh, screwed on to these uh, little storage threads or whatever. Don't forget to put the caps back on the uh, system either because uh, otherwise your cores could be exposed and uh, sometimes they don't even hold very well so you're better off to make sure you put the caps on. If you have plastic caps, get rid of them and put on brass. That's my suggestion anyway.